What's up you guys? First of all, I'd like to apologize for the mess that I'm currently sitting in. I know it doesn't seem as apparent to you, but there is shit everywhere. I apologize, but this will not be the permanent filming area for the forthcoming future, hopefully. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the hairstyles that I tend to wear when I'm wearing a hair topper. I do get a lot of comments saying that, you know, you have a hair topper or you want a hair topper, but it's either taken a very long time or you still haven't been able to go out in public with it because probably you have the same fear that I do that somebody's going to notice that you're wearing a hair topper and that's just going to be a whole conversation that nobody wants to have. Um, I'm going to show you some of the hairstyles that I've been comfortable wearing outside that is undetectable, like no one will be able to know that you're wearing different hair. In my case, with this particular topper, it's kind of obvious because it's styled a lot differently than my hair is now. Another reason I wanted to make this video to go further in depth with like the hair topper realm is because I actually got another one from Uniwigs. Uniwigs have been so kind to me. They have been so loving throughout my journey and wanting to like help me help other people, which I am super grateful for. And another reason I thought this would be a great thing to put out there is because I know it was a huge thing on the last video, the price point of that one, and it was very confusing because it's an Australian website, so the prices were in Australian and everyone was just very confused about what was going on. And I got a lot of requests to find a more cost efficient version, so this is definitely that. It is a lot cheaper and I feel like is a very reasonable price. And sure, it's probably something you're still going to have to save up for, at least I would, but it's definitely reachable, definitely attainable. So I will have the details for this exact one in the description as always, but I will show it to you. So this is the topper. It has bangs, which I think is so cute. And if you saw my other video, you might remember me saying that I wanted to cut bangs in it. So this is just very ideal so that I can have a normal one and a bangs one, just have fun with. And it has the fake scalp part, just like the other one. Now, as I'm showing you this one, I just want to make it very clear that I did actually dye this one. That's why it might look a little bit of a dodgy dye job because I, I dyed it myself with box dye. But I will insert a clip now of what it looked like prior to me dyeing it. So this is the dark brown, or I think it's called chocolate brown or something like that. I'll leave the original color of it down in the description. But this is what it looked like before I dyed it. It was a very lovely, still dark brown. It just had a lot of warm tones in it and I couldn't get it to blend with my hair right. I guess my hair is darker than I thought it was. But yeah, now this one matches my hair perfectly. So I'm just going to chuck it on my head real quick so you guys can see what it looks like on. I just line it up so that the bangs, I like them kind of low. I mean, this looks really low right now. I need to like get it right. So I would say like that is where I'm comfortable with it. And then I just dig the clips in as close to my head as I can. And then once I've got it on, I do just like to brush through it real quick so that it blends with my hair. So I think I might need to straighten it a little bit, but this is what it looks like. And I think it is so cute. Um, if I'm being quite honest with you, I'm not sure if bangs actually match my face as well as I wish they would. I always want to cut bangs, especially when I'm bored. But I mean, I don't know if I could pull it off full time. So I'm very thankful to have this option for when I want to like play around and be fun with it. Let me know in the comments below, you guys, can I pull off bangs or no? In my head, I've got this like Velma fantasy where I think it would be really, really cute. But I think my forehead is too small or something. I don't know. Oh, this is so cute. I look like Dora. All right. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm always getting sidetracked. So I guess I will show you the first hairstyle that I do with this topper. Um, this is just like the easiest one that I like to do. Okay, so for this one, all you're going to need are four bobby pins. I'm not sure if in America you call these something else. I call them bobby pins. I think some people call them slides. I have no idea, but you know, like one of these guys. And then what I like to do is grab all of the long pieces from this side and I won't do it down to my ear. I'll only do like the top half of it. And then I would literally just like twist and then I use the bobby pins in like a crisscross sort of thing so that it does not fall down. But you basically just do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so this is one hairstyle that I love to do with this. I think it just looks so cute and like southern, I guess, if you know what I'm talking about. Like yeah, I could imagine wearing like a sunflower dress and something like that. This hairstyle, I feel like cancels out my resting bitch face and makes me approachable. Like I think I look cute this way. So 
that's another reason why it's just really fun to have this. So yeah, this one's super simple and I feel like you probably achieve the same result if you were to actually just like tie it up in the back. I like doing this because sometimes if I do it like high enough, it does like points like that, um, which I really like. So I don't know, I just do it this way. It's really super simple and yeah. Okay, now for the next one, I don't wanna say it's like complicated, but I mean, it's definitely more advanced than what you just saw me do. So, as I said, this next one is a little bit more tricky because I have to pull my hair up into a high ponytail. Okay, so in order for me to get my hair up into a high pony, I kind of need to, like, I don't know, you just have to be a little bit more careful putting it up. So I do it section by section. Okay, so see, I'm starting with the top section and then you just, like, bring everybody else up there with it. Oh my god, it looks like I have a mullet. <laughs> I also like to do it kind of messy just because I think that with the bangs, messy hair looks really cute. Okay, and then just spread the bangs out so that it covers the sides a little bit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to braid my ponytail. Um, I'm not gonna do it super tight. In fact, the looser you do it, the better for this. And you don't even need to do it like the entire way down. So if you can see, I'm just doing a very loose plait. At first I thought that this would be a really cute hairstyle, but it is not. It just looks like I'm from the Saddle Club. If you're Australian, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm just stretching the braid out, making it look as fat as I can. So we get a big boy. And then I'm literally just going to spin it around each other and make like a messy bun situation. And then I'm just going to grab one of my bobby pins from before and just pop a couple of those in the bottom. And then I just like yank at the top a little bit to like shape it the way I want. And it is kind of fun with this. Like, I don't know if you can just see, I've just like pulled it apart or like chunked it together in pieces to make it look kind of piecey. But yeah, this is my second hairstyle that I love. You know who I feel like with this hairstyle? Um, Booberella from The Simpsons, like the Halloween ones, if you've ever seen that, that's who I feel like. Okay, and the third hairstyle is I think one of the most complicated ones I've ever done. First thing that you do is you're going to section a little bit of your top hair off, just in like a halo sort of formation near the top of your head. It doesn't have to be exact or anything, but make sure you don't get too much hair because that's going to complicate your life in the future. I've just put this top bit of hair in a bun just to keep it out of the way. So now I'm just working with the bottom part of my hair. And all I'm going to do with the bottom part is tie it in a ponytail. So nothing weird, just a simple ponytail right under where the other part of hair is. Okay, so I'll just turn sideways so you can see what's going on. But so I have this lower ponytail here, and then obviously I have all of this other hair bunched up there, which I'm going to be doing something right now. Okay, so with this top ponytail, what I'm going to do is tie or start tying another ponytail but like directly in front of where the other one was like i'm talking get as close as you possibly can so i'm getting right up on that ponytail all right and now that i feel like i've only got a little bit of this left what i'm going to do is make a little loop so not a lot just like a tiny little loop in the ponytail um and i'm just going to leave that and then what i'm going to do is Pot the loop into two different sides, like this, like Mickey Mouse. We've got two different sides like this. And then what I'm going to do is with the rest of this ponytail that I've got going on, I'm going to wrap it around the loop. And now that it's been looped around there enough times that I'm sure it looks crazy, I'm just going to slip this last part of her into the bottom hair tie. So like keep it tight. And then this bow part, it'll just take like some fiddling with to get it to look like something. Honestly, it's only like two times out of three I can get this to look like a bow like it's supposed to, but it's worth it when you can. So this is what the end result looks like. I hope you can see it on my hair since you're dark or anything, but it is basically just a big hair bow that is supposed to look like the top of your ponytail. On a regular day, if I was using hairspray and actually like taking a lot of time with it, 
I can get it to look really, really perfect. I just don't want to put hairspray in my hair right now. But yeah, this is definitely the messier version. I hope you guys can get the idea of what I was meaning by this. And even though it takes me a second to get this hairstyle, I'm sure that someone with either shorter hair or more skill with hair would be able to do it even quicker than I did. As I said in the beginning of this video, this topper is from Uniwigs. They not only have this one, but they have a bunch of other ones. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they do have a few that don't have like bangs. So if you just want like my other one that just has like a regular pot, I'm sure that they would be able to do that too. And they come in a very big range of colors. Um, and I guess another thing to mention is that if you are very scared of wearing a topper out in public for the first time, then whether you naturally have bangs or not, bangs are just so much easier to work with when you're a beginner with toppers because there's no like blending at the front like it's literally just covering the whole issue so if you are afraid this is definitely a good thing to start with and then work your way up to one of the like regular pot ones i hope you guys liked today's video i'm really trying hard to end the stigma around like hair toppers because i know when i first saw them straight away i thought is this not like a toupee for women? Which I guess in a way it is, but like this is literally just like an extension that you can put on the top of your head. So I don't see anything wrong with it. I think they're really cute. Um, these ones are very affordable if you're on a budget. And also Uniwigs were kind enough to give me a code yet again. So I will leave that down below so that you will be able to get some money off. So yeah, please don't judge me too harshly on my execution of these hairstyles. For the millionth time, I will say I am not a hairstylist or even a hair enthusiast. I am just a girl out here trying my best. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. We have an amazing community and we would love to have you as part of the gang. I love you guys so much and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!